we present primary mathematics for standard eight pupils. In the studio is the radio teacher and tools, Kerubo and Ngetich. Welcome to the program. Hello Standard 8 pupils. In this program, we are going to learn about surface area of cubes, cuboids, and cylinders. Kerubo, can you remind us of the different mathematical shapes you know? The different mathematical shapes I know are square, rectangle, and oval. Good, Kerubo. We have many different mathematical shapes, such as a square, a rectangle, triangle, circle, and oval. We also have objects made of these shapes, such as cubes, cuboids, and cylinders. Ngetich, how many faces does a cube have? A cube has six equal faces. Good, Ngetich. A cube has six equal faces. Class, how many faces does a cuboid have? Give the answer to your teacher. Kerubo, how many faces does a cuboid have? A cuboid has got six faces. Good, Kerubo. A cuboid has got six faces. Class, note that the cubes and the cuboids are called space figures. They have six faces in either square form or rectangular form. The cube has all its six faces equal and square in shape. Cuboids have their opposite faces equal and in rectangular shape. Excuse me, teacher. Does it mean that the six faces of a cube are squares while the six faces of a cuboid are rectangles? That's correct, Ngetich. The faces of a cube have all the properties of a square while the faces of a cuboid have the properties of a rectangle. Teacher, please draw a cube and a cuboid on the chalkboard. The faces of the cube and cuboid are made of straight lines. Teacher, show the pupils the faces of a cube and a cuboid. Class, tell your teacher the different units used to measure straight lines. used units to measure length? The commonly used units to measure length are millimeters, centimeters, and meters. Good, Kerubo. Class, did you mention millimeter, centimeter, and meter? Good. Teacher, draw a cuboid and mark four centimeters as length, three centimeters as width and two centimeters as height on the chalkboard. Class, let us look at the cuboid on the chalkboard. A cuboid is a solid with six faces. 
A closed cuboid has six faces. An open cuboid has five faces. To find the surface area of a cuboid, we work out the area of each face, then add the areas together. The cuboid drawn on the chalkboard has two faces of 4 cm by 2 cm, which has an area of 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 square centimeters. It also has two faces of 3 cm by 2 cm with an area of 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 square centimeters. The other two faces of 4 cm and 3 cm have an area of 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 square centimeters. The total surface area of the cuboid is therefore equal to 16 plus 12 plus 24 which is equal to 52 square centimeters. Therefore, the surface area of the cuboid is 52 square centimeters. Class, is the cuboid a closed one or an open one? Ngetich, give us your answer. The cuboid is a closed one. Good, Ngetich. Class, did you say it is a closed figure? Good. Ngetich, why is it a closed figure? It is a closed cuboid because we have all the six faces. Good, Ngetich. It is a closed cuboid because we have worked out the surface area of all the six faces. Teacher, draw an open box with measurements 12 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 6 centimeters with 12 by 10 centimeters being the open face on the chalkboard. Class, find out the surface area of the open box and give the answer to your teacher. Ngetich, what is the surface area of the open box? The surface area of the open box measuring 12 cm by 10 cm by 6 cm with 12 by 10 being the open face is 384 square centimeters. Good, Ngetich. Class, did you get the correct answer? Good. The surface area of an open box measuring 12 cm by 10 cm by 6 cm with 12 by 10 being the open face is 384 square centimeters. Class, note that to find the surface area of the open box measuring 12 cm by 10 cm by 6 cm, we find the area of only 5 faces because one face is open. Therefore, the area is 2 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 6 square centimeters plus 2 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 10 square centimeters plus 1 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 12 square centimeters which gives us 144 square centimeters plus 120 square centimeters plus 120 square centimeters which will add up to 384 square centimeters. Therefore, the surface area of the open box is 384 square centimeters. Class, calculate the surface area of an open cuboid 
measuring 7 centimeters by 8 centimeters by 5 centimeters with one open head measuring 7 centimeters by 8 centimeters. Give answer to your teacher. Kerubo, what is the surface area? The surface of an open cuboid with the open ends measuring 7 cm by 8 cm and a width of 5 cm is 206 square centimeters. Good, Kerubo. Class, did you get 206 square centimeters? Good. Kerubo. How did you work out your answer? I first found the area of the two opposite sides of the cuboid, which is 2 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 5 square centimeters plus 2 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 5 square centimeters, which gives us 80 square centimeters plus 70 square centimeters which is equal to 150 square centimeters. Then I found the surface area of the base, which is 7 multiplied by 8, which is equal to 56 square centimeters. I added 150 square centimeters to 56 square centimeters to get 206 square centimeters. Therefore, the surface area is equal to 206 square centimeters. Good, Kerubo. Class, in any open cuboid, we find the surface area of only five faces. That is, the two opposite surfaces and the bottom surface. The top one is open, so we leave it. Now, we are going to find the surface area of cylinders. Ngetich. What is a cylinder? A cylinder is a curved figure with two circular ends. Good, Ngetich. A cylinder is a curved figure with two circular ends. The circular end can be closed or open. Teacher, draw a cylinder on the chalkboard. <laughs> the surface area of a cylinder, we use the formula 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. That is 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by radius multiplied by height plus 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by radius squared. Teacher, let the diameter of the cylinder drawn on the chalkboard measure 14 centimeters and the height measure 12 centimeters. Class, find the surface area of the cylinder drawn on the chalkboard. <laughs> surface area of the cylinder? The surface area of the cylinder is 836 square centimeters. Good, Kerubo.
class. Did you get the correct answer? Good. To find the surface area, we consider the formula 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Remember, r is the radius and h is the height. Therefore, the radius is 14 centimeters divided by 2, which is equal to 7 centimeters. The height is 12 centimeters. Teacher, write the following working on the chalkboard. 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 plus 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 12. This gives us 308 plus 528, which is equal to 836 square centimeters. Therefore, the surface area of the cylinder, whose height is 12 centimeters and diameter is 14 centimeters, is 836 square centimeters. And this brings us to the end of the program. You have been listening to Prime.